Hey friends, welcome back. I am making today a very delicious and healthy amaranth leaves curry. In Konkani, we call it as tamde bhaji. The leaves of this plant is mostly green, gold, purple or red depending on the area where it is grown. It is a gluten-free protein and an essential source of vitamins and nutrients. Here I have taken three bunches of the amaranthus leaves which is cleaned well to get rid of the soil and the mud. I am washing it for 4 to 5 times and I have roughly chopped it as you can see here. Now let's make the coconut masala paste for the curry. We are taking 2 tablespoon of coriander seeds, badigi red chilli around 8 small tamarind ball and half grated coconut. Heat a little of coconut oil. We are going to roast the coriander seeds and barrigi red chilli. I will be roasting it for a few seconds under low heat. Cool it and transfer it to mixer jar. Add a small tablespoon of turmeric powder, a small piece of tamarind ball, grated coconut, add adequate water and grind it to smooth fine paste. For final tempering I have around 20 to 25 crushed garlic. Heat around 2 tablespoons of coconut oil. We will be spluttering half teaspoon of mustard seeds. As you can see the mustard seeds spluttering, we will be adding the amaranth leaves. Let the flame be at moderate heat and we are going to stir fry the amaranth leaves for around 3 to 5 minutes. As the leaves are getting cooked, you can see the volume of the leaf reducing to half. Note that you are going to add the salt at the end since you can see the volume of the leaf getting reduced to half the quantity. I have been stir frying the amaranthus leaves for 3 to 5 minutes. Now we will be adding the coconut masala paste. Add water from the leftover masala paste from the mixer jar. Do not add more water. We don't want a dilute curry. Add enough of salt according to your requirement. Mix well. Now we will be cooking the curry until the oil leaves the corner of the gravy. As the curry is getting cooked, let us temper for the garlic. So I'm heating around 2 tablespoons of coconut oil and I'm going to stir fry the crushed garlic. Here I have taken organically grown garlic which are smaller in size. So I have taken around 20 to 25. If they are larger, you can take around 15. If you have still not subscribed to Garajavan, please do subscribe and click the bell icon. I also request you to share your comments and views. Curry is getting cooked and you can see the oil floating on the top of the gravy. It is ready almost and now we will be adding the tempered garlic. I just love the wonderful aroma of the fried garlic. I have been frying it since 2 minutes and now we are going to add it to the boiling curry. Wow, that's fantastic. I just love the aroma of the fried garlic in any of the curries. Let it cook for around 2 minutes more and the amaranthus leaf curry is ready to be served. It's the best combination to have along red boiled rice. You can also have it around white sonamasuri rice. Uh, you can also have it around dosa or chapati or idli. Please do try this recipe. I will be coming with yet another recipe of amaranth leaves with coconut and tamarind curry which is an authentic Mangalorean Urpi style cuisine. Thank you for watching Garajavan.